What's up guys, Dirty here, and uh, I'm, it's time for Legendary Weapon Hunt, episode 9. We're going to be going after... Who is it? Damn, I already forgot. Wil Wilhelm. I'm uh, going to be going for uh, Logan's gun, is the dr weapon that he drops. To get there, it's not a direct location, you have to go through Tundra Express to end of the line. So if you guys remember from the main storyline, you meet Wilhelm when you go and collect something off a train which crashed. Yeah, don't know if you guys remember that. Um, and for you guys who complain about I use the glitch to kill bosses, this one I can't exactly because it's just going to take way too long because to get to the end of the line you have to go through Tundra Express, right? And once you get there, you kill him but you, as soon as you go to leave that area I'm pretty sure you come back at an area you don't want to come back to, so I'm just going to be saving and quitting. So I'm not sure if you actually come back through this exit or back through the uh, the starting area's exit. So I'm just going to be saving and quitting at good old times, which means I won't be using the glitch, but he's still pretty easy to kill. Because uh, <clears throat> I tried yesterday to see if you could farm him. Um, and yeah, it's really easy. So we're going to be going for Logan's gun. But to get there, you have to go through these enemies, which isn't too hard, so should be some good fun. Hopefully we can get ourselves a weapon. <clears throat> now I don't know if you guys are looking at my Braving the Borderlands series, but you guys should definitely go check that out, as it's a lot of fun and I'm playing through as a Gunzerker through the campaign, and then once I've done the campaign I'll uh, be going ahead and doing, <coughs> excuse me, um, I'll be going ahead and doing the, oh, what do you call it, DLC. Sometimes it's really hard to think and play at the same time. You know what? I'm just going to run past these guys. So yeah, going to be playing the DLC after the campaign. I don't know if I'll go through and do playthrough 2 before I do um, the DLC, or I'm going to do that. But yeah. And the one good thing, now I've got this checkpoint, I won't have to go through those guys anymore. Even though it says there's one behind me. Yeah, I don't have to go through those guys anymore. So now all I have to do is kill Wilhelm. It's right there. I should probably put my conference call on, shouldn't I? Don't give him a shield, don't do it! Man, it's so much easier with the glitch, eh? Huh? Oh, what? Alright, what'd he drop? Looking for Logan's gun. That's not it. <clears throat> uh, well, he didn't drop it. So, it's time to save and quit. See, so yeah, apart from the Brave in the Borderlands series, I am in the making of organising a giant lobby. And this giant lobby... I know I've already explained this on the Brave in the Borderlands video, so for those of you who have already seen episode 2 of Braving the Borderlands will know about this. But um, on my Facebook page I wrote up saying <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a really big video soon. And this video is just going to be a giant lobby for du not for duplicating but for weapons as in I'm going to have I should, should probably put conference call on um, I'm going to be getting a bunch of friends in actually I need caustic where is it? there it is um, going to be getting a bunch of friends to help me put some weapons together and put them all throughout a map and you guys can come in and join, it's going to be a public lobby in the, in the public lobby you guys can join and take the weapons you want it's going to be awesome fun so yeah see this is so much easier and that could deal with the uh, flying fellas so it's going to be a giant lobby where there's going to be um, guns everywhere. Damn it, I thought that was it. 
I actually have no idea what colour this weapon's going to be, so... Um... Yeah, it's going to be a giant lobby, and there's going to be a friend of mine hosting it. It's going to be an hour long. It's either going to be next week, as in 8, eight slash 9 days from now, or it's going to be 15 slash 16 days from now. Not sure which one, but I'll post up a video beforehand saying when it's going to be, so you guys can make sure you're there. Um, it's going to be hour long, like I said. I'm going to be dropping guns everywhere. Hopefully get a couple of mates to drop some as well, so there's going to be a variety, not just all of mine because you guys may not want all of mine, but there's going to be lots of copies. So there should be enough for uh, an hour's worth of people joining and leaving. And, uh, yeah. That would be good. Okay, so I have no idea what I just did there. Pretty sure I didn't quit. Did I? I don't know, but he's back. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of guns, basically. You guys can join, take what you want. It's going to be awesome. I'm actually kind of enjoying not doing the glitch. Because it makes it that much sweeter when you actually get a weapon. Alright, what do you drop? Is this it? Uh, it's not. Is this it? Man. The bad thing about when you kill this guy is he explodes. Anything, if you guys know when you kill bosses, they explode. One bad thing is everything scatters. So you gotta. Like, sometimes I've killed him when he's standing here, and he has stuff which goes over there, and over there, over there, and over there. It's ridiculous. Yeah, sorry about uh, I missed last week's episode. I just had a whole bunch of things I was doing and I was really busy. But uh, still gonna be doing this every week, and I'm gonna try to get through as many bosses as I can before going through them again, because I'd rather not do them again. Although maybe I should go for because this is a, this is a legendary weapon hunt, so I should probably go for weapons instead of bosses, which means some will be missions. But those will be short because no, no oh, I guess I could do a full mission. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I gotta feel like I don't run out of ammo for this. Nope, can't even use that. Did he spit some stuff over here? Because I don't want to be the one time that I'm not looking where everything explodes, that that's the time where it drops. And then I get a message in the videos from you guys saying, Oh, you missed it. Because apparently I had one video where uh, I missed a gun. And that's pretty embarrassing. So like, oh, I already checked that. See, well, I don't get why they drop stuff which isn't for your class. I get there's a sharing thing and whatever, but I don't want it. If I can't use it, don't give it to me. I get if there's like other people in your game where you can get stuff, but I don't want that stuff. Can't use it. This would be cool if it was just me playing, I'd only get commander stuff, but if I had a friend playing who's a siren, there's a 50-50 chance that it's commander and siren. Now that'd be cool. But I get that it's a random drop and that kind of stuff. But it's really frustrating when, say you're farming Terramorphous, and you're trying to get the Terramorphous mo uh, class mod, even though it's not the best one, but it's a good one. That's where it's kind of like, eh, it'd be nice if all I got was Commando. But I suppose he does drop it every time. But one like Vermivorous. With Vermivorous, he doesn't drop it every time. And spawn him's hard enough. So if you spawn him and then you don't actually end up getting it, that can be quite frustrating. I'm thinking from like that kind of point of view, and why am I not paying any attention? I'm gonna die, aren't I? No, 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 you mother slut. Because I actually had one time where a friend was farming from Liverus with myself, and he was a siren, I think. 
and I was a commando. And we ended up getting like a Gunzerker, I think it was. That's just stupid. Who the hell wants a Gunzerker? I should probably reload my stuff. Just in case I die again. Oh man, he just freaking spawned on me, you. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Yeah, I know what you can do, buddy. Don't jump away from the grenades. You bloomin' genius. And all you Borderlands 2 fans, if you haven't already, go definitely check out my Harlem Shake video of Borderlands 2. Like, I came up, I didn't really come up with the idea. A subscriber suggested the idea, so I went ahead and made the video. I'm not gonna claim it was my idea. Even though it was a bloody good idea. Um, and yeah. Oh, is this it? Oh, damn it. Is this it? Oh, come on. Yeah, I made a Harlem Shake video for Borderlands. Basically. And it's pretty cool. It's got quite a lot of dislikes though, I don't understand why, but hey, you get that. There's probably people searching for Harlem Shake. Because I did put that in the text. They're probably looking for Harlem Shake videos of people doing it, not a game. I thought it was pretty cool though that it's a game and I made a Harlem Shake video. And it's Borderlands. And I love Borderlands. The Harlem Shake videos did get out of hand pretty fast. But hey, you get that. I think we'll go one more time. Sounds good to me. Because I get that like most of you guys who farm, you do it for hours before you get it. Whereas me, I'd like to do it somewhere between 9 and about 15 minutes. Because I don't want you guys to watch me for two hours. And if I was to record for two hours, that'd take a lot of time. That's why I like it's short, sweet, it shows you how to do it, it shows you where to get the gun, and it shows me trying to get it at least. So I might do might consider doing like some live streaming of actually me farming legit for a couple of hours, but uh We'll see. Cause you have to have a good upload speed. Mine's not the greatest upload speed. Alright, come on, drop. I want Logan's gun. Logan's gun. Logan's gun. Is this Logan's gun? Man, I have my hopes up. Alright, so let's look where everything could be. Be nice if you give, like, a sacrifice of Iridian so that you have a higher chance of a drop rate from an, uh, an enemy. So say you're trying to kill this guy, if you have a sacrifice for... He's a robot, so there's like a robot sacrifice area. If you drop like 50 Iridian, it increases your chance by 5%, 10%, like just something. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. I spend a lot of Iridian. It gives you something to do with the Iridian, apart from... Because when you kill the bosses in the DLCs, there's... I mean, I get you have to buy it or whatever, but there's glitches you can do where you don't have to spend any money. Like, you kill them, walk out of the area, walk back in, you can kill them again. And most of the bosses, or a couple of them, you actually get... So say it costs you 8 to get in there, or 6 to get in there, you'll get that back most of the time. So tank to chance you already got Iridium's very low. But hey. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And keep your eyes peeled for the lobby video, which should be coming out fairly soon, I'd say within the next week. So yeah, keep your eyes out for that, and I'll see you guys next week.